The second motion is coming from Honorable Lake Joseph Abejide. If Honorable Lake is around, please can you, can you rise and move your motion. Honorable Lake Joseph Abejide is my name. I represent the good people of Yagba East, Yagba West, Mapamrufra constituency. I'm from Kogi State. I rise under under it rule five to move a motion of urgent public importance on the urgent need to address the insecurity and incessant attack against the people of Yagba land perpetrated by unknown government in Yagba federal constituency. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, Kari Tajuji Abishadu is my name. I represent the people of Shaki East, Shaki West, and Atisbo Federal Constituency. Right, Honorable Speaker, sir, I'm from Oyo State. I rise this morning to second the motion, being ably moved by my colleague, Honorable Ajibizi. Thank you very much, Honorable. Honorable Leke Abejide is my name. I remain a member representing the people of Yagba Federal Constituency and from Kogi State. The motion is on the urgent need to address the insecurity and incessant attack against the people of Yagba land perpetrated by unknown government. Alarmed by the shocking incident that occurred on May 7th, 2024, in the Jiba community, Yagba West local government area of Kogi State, where a group of armed kidnappers, numbering about 10, all dressed in black, stormed the central market in the broad daylight and abducted a prominent businesswoman, Buki, and a male customer after shooting sporadically, causing panic and fear among the residents. Further alarmed that security personnel are not spared by these headmen and their communities as a policeman was macheted along Okutadudu in Yaba West local government area on the 11th of May 2024, underscoring the grim security situation and the regrettable failure of the current security architecture, which appears to be overwhelmed by the audacity of these headmen and their community. Troubled by the fact that comparable violent attacks and kidnapping have been occurring on a weekly basis, including a prior incident approximately two weeks before the Ejiba incident, where two individuals were abducted from residence of a prominent businessman and political figure named Mr. David Joseph, an adoption that tragically resulted in death of one of the victims. Deeply troubled by another recent development on Friday, May 17, 2024, where two persons were ambushed and brutally killed at Ube community in Yagwa West local government area of the state by headmen armed with sophisticated weapons who slaughtered their victims without being apprehended by local security services. Recall that more than six persons were kidnapped within the space of 48 hours around Isolu in Yagwa East local government area and three people were again murdered between Idofi and Isolu in an attempt to escape from the kidnappers. Worried with grave concern that these attacks are perpetrated under the pretense of migration by Katu herders, a lot of whom are non-Nigerians. Also worried that these armed groups infiltrated farms and forests in the area, populate the regions from within the forest, the outskirts and fringes of existing communities, and engage in kidnapping, killing, raping, and maiming of indigenous, causing several insecurity and fear among the local populace. Further worried that these armed groups are not known to the indigenous people of the land. They, they, they live uncivilized lives and have adopted a hostile existence completely at variance with the local culture and way of life, creating a divide within the community. 
disturbed that the indigenous people who do not own weapons now live in fear of the heavily armed non-indigenous who have forcibly seized land, farm lands, causing serious farming due to inability of indigenous to farm and assess their agricultural lands. Also disturbed about the inability of the security apparatus to address the systematic takeover of lands belonging to the good people of the Awafira constituency as they allow private individuals to carry arms in the broad daylight. Watch as non-natives take over farms, eat crops of indigenous farmers, and sack indigenous from their farmlands, with many killed for trying to assess their lands or objecting to the eating of their crops. Perplexed that the herders and their newly established communities are known to openly carry arms, cutlasses, machetes, openly in contrast to the indigenous people of Yagbalan, who have traditionally relied on Nigeria police for protection and do not engage in such practices. Deeply saddened by the trend of violence and hopelessness that has befallen the once peaceful Yagbalan of Kogi West Central District, which has now turned into an epicenter of banditry and kidnapping, with criminals operating on a daily basis, leaving the local populace in a state of constant fear and despair. Resolve, they have resolved to urge the federal government to direct urgent attention and concentrated effort toward the bases of Kogi West Central District, an area formerly renowned for its peaceful nature, but which has tragically devolved into a hotbed of banditry, kidnapping, and other criminal activities occurring on a daily basis. Two, urge the Chief of Defense Staff and Inspector General of Police to identify and profile each individual living in obscurity within the forest of the Agua Federal Constituency, a lot of whom are non-Nigerian for security purposes. Three, further urge the Inspector General of Police to carry out a comprehensive mop up of all arms, ammunition, AK-47, cutlasses, and other weapons in their possession, in the possession of the others and individual within the constituency to prohibit the public carrying of such arms and weapons. Four, all security architecture, including the Inspector General of Police, the Director General of State Security Services, the Commandant General of Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, to comb the Agua Forest and secure immediate release of victims and arrest the kidnappers. Five, urge the federal government to set a comprehensive security strategy in collaboration with local stakeholders to address the root causes of the insecurity and ensure the safety and well-being of all residents in our federal constituency. And finally, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, to add the committee uh, on legislative compliance to ensure compliance. Thank you so much. This motion as amended, she say aye. Those again, she say nay. That is of it. This motion is referred to the Committee on Defense and Police for further legislative action. Shall we rise for a minute's silence? May their souls rest in peace.